Yo, what's going on everybody? It is straight out of Boston here. Today I'm back for episode number 21 of my Boston Bruins BGM series here on NHL 16. So, take a look at how the standings have played out through the first 11 or so games of the season. We have a couple games in hand on the teams ahead of us, but we're 4th in the, or 5th in the Eastern Conference, I should say, and 9th uh, in the entire league. We've got a couple teams ahead of us in our own division, but overall, we've gotten off to a solid start, and, you know, largely the regular season in the NHL, not too important as long as you're in the playoff picture. Um, home ice advantage is not too important. It's not something I certainly would emphasize. And they say you want to be in the playoff picture by American Thanksgiving. We're coming up to that date, and we are in that playoff picture. So I'm pretty satisfied with how things have gone so far. And here we're taking on the Los Angeles Kings. Milan Lucic making his return as he did just a couple of nights ago in real life. Of course, when the Bruins got absolutely destroyed 9-2. Hopefully this game will go a little bit better than that one. You can see Tuka Rask in net for the Boston Bruins getting the start, and Jonathan Quick will be his counterpart in net for the Los Angeles Kings with a 935 save percentage so far this season. That is pretty impressive so we are underway here from the TD Garden Bergeron per usual wins the face off and we are going to carry this one into the Kings zone Bergeron on the backhand through the circle right here circles it back around to the slot tries to fire it on net but a good blocker saved by Jonathan Quick and we are well underway here a big hit by Joe Morrow getting up here on the forecheck a little bit and he's going to try and feed this across to Mikkel Bodker but uh, unfortunately Bodker couldn't quite get his stick on the puck right there so we retrieve it back into the neutral zone Bodker gets it gets destroyed there by Kopitar still fighting for it along the boards and now it's going to lead to an opportunity for Gabbert coming on fires and it hits the iron right there he beat Rask but he couldn't quite beat the post now it's Kevin Hayes with the puck about midway through the first period Hayes is going to give it off to his line mate to Pasternak the one-timer and he rings the iron as well so a couple of posts early on for both teams and then here we go rebound opportunity for one of our men Pasternak I think that was but he couldn't quite get the shot off that was a nice play by Tori Krug though to aim low here we go now another opportunity for the Kings it's Tanner Pearson with a slapper but a calm glove save by Tuka Rask. Now Tory Krug has the puck behind his own net, gives it up, tries to give it up there. Krejci now with it, gets tries to get it up to Griffith once again. Finally, Griffith gets possession, and he's actually going to get hooked here on the play. So that will be the first power play of the night for either side, and it's going to be to the Bruins. So here we go, Austin Matthews tries to go Marshan right there through the legs. Circles it back around, fires, but a big save by Jonathan Quick. Pashanak retrieves one-timer to Hedman. That's a save. So a couple opportunities here early on the power play. Now Matthews once again doing the carrying into the Kings zone. Cycles it back around around one timer to Krejci but another good stop by Jonathan Quick here we go though maintaining possession it's Krejci back at the point one timer to Krug and another save that one deflected off the skate of Matthews it looked like but Quick still made the stop and then one final shot opportunity as the first period expires we are still knotted up at zero no goals for either side here in the first but the Bruins will start the second on the power play we've got about oh I don't know 15 seconds or so left on the PP so here we go Bergeron wins the face off we get it back to Bergeron carrying it into the back end gives it to Pasternak fires it on net and and this one squeaks through and scores. David Pasternak will get credit with the goal as this was pretty a pretty soft goal led up by Jonathan Quick. We'll take a look at the replay. Not really quite sure how this one got it or made its way through. And you're going to see it didn't even look like it might have gotten in there. But we'll take a look on the replay. So watch Jonathan Quick's glove. You can see this angle doesn't really quite look like it got in. But we're going to move it uh, closer to the red line here. And one more angle will kind of show you guys why I think this was ruled a goal. Uh, as you're going to see here, it doesn't look quite look in. But there you can see he kind of got bumped maybe by Matthews and right here this is the frame that makes it look like that puck got across the red line and we'll kind of take a quicker or a more close and look at that glove and yes it does look like the puck was past the red line into the net there so a good goal for Pasternak and the Bruins lead one to nothing thanks to the power play goal and then here we go ensuing faceoff Austin Matthews did this exact same thing last game can he do it again one timer to Marchand scores so last episode it was Matthews scoring on the snipe right off the faceoff this time he goes cross crease and it's Marchand who is the recipient of the play made by Matthews. Easy goal for Marshan, probably one of the easiest he will ever score. And the Bruins take a 2 to nothing lead here on the Los Angeles Kings. Quick caught completely out of position there, thanks to the playmaking ability of Austin Matthews. Here we go now, Krejci with the dangles right there. Couldn't quite get the shot off, though. Gets it to Bodka behind the net to Krejci. Tried to go cross, Grace had an open net to shoot at but couldn't quite get the shot off. Then Krug chips it back down behind the net. And then another one-timer opportunity. Cross Grease Griffith, though. A big stop by Quick. And then finally, the Kings get possession and get the puck out. Then here we go. Erickson's shot goes wide here. And it's Gravel trying to get it up to David Leguan. Leguan finding his man, his line mate, Kyle Clifford, all alone. And he doesn't even get the shot off. I don't know why he didn't shoot that. Looked like he tried to make a pass or something, and he passed it right into our defender. But here we go. Jeff Carter, a bit of a better shooter than Clifford. He can't get the shot off either. 
good defensive recovery by our man right there. Now Griffith carrying it back into the Kings zone. Protects the puck. Is going to go behind the net here. Cross crease. And it is Bodker with the goal. And it's going to be a 3-0 lead now for Boston. Pouring it on in this second period. The third goal of the period. This time it's Bodker. Another cross crease. Good job by Griffith going behind the net. And then Bodker goes to the front of the net. He is the recipient. And we take a 3-zip lead. Now late in the second, it's Hayes. Turns it over in his own zone. King one-timer. And a big save by Rask. Coming up clutch once again. Erickson with the puck now. And he turns it over in the last seconds. But another stop by Rask. And we are going to head to the third period with a 3 to nothing lead. Rask coming up big so far. Not too many opportunities for L.A., but Rask has made the stops when L.A. has had the opportunities. Now it's Lucic in his old building here. Dumps it behind the net. Good retrieval by Jeff Carter. And then Rask is sent sprawling, but he somehow finds the puck and makes the save. Another big stop by the Finnish netminder. Then here we go. It is Dwight King coming on. Snaps that one on net, but a big save by Rask. And then King is going to level Tory Krug right here. Get the puck back to the point. Erhoff, who was recently waived, of course, to Zykov. That's saved. Another big stop by Rask. Coming up big once again. Here we go. Hedman lays out a big hit right Right there on that dump in and then now later in the third it's Griffith getting it over to Bodker Bodker carrying he's gonna look here he's gonna come back look for the pass he actually gets hooked right there and Griffith pokes this one in so the Bruins were due for a power play right there after Bodker got hooked but take a look at the replay I'll show you a better replay than the one the game's gonna show you here but uh, you're gonna see Bodker loses the puck and Griffith sort of just pokes this one through the wickets of Jonathan Quick and take a look at the replay as first we're gonna see uh, Quick get pulled here in favor of his backup so a rough night for Jonathan Quick he had a really got a good start to the season, but not so great tonight. So Bodker loses the puck, and then watch this. Griffith just sort of taps this one through the legs of Quick, and Quick could not recover in time. That one finds the back of the net right there, and it is 4 to nothing Boston. Now, final minute of play. It's Krejci coming up, and check a look at this snipe. Oh, my goodness. David Krejci didn't know he had that in him. That was a serious snipe right there. Jack Eichel-esque, if I would say so myself. But uh, here we go. Look at the replay. Goes far side. And, man, the goaltender had no idea what was coming. So a pretty nice goal for Krejci to top it off. 5 nothing lead. And one more look at it. Krejci, very happy about that goal. But here we go now. Final 15 seconds of play. Kings, one final rush. It's Nolan. Tries to get this one over. And that one is going to be ruled a goal. This one was uh, kind of a broken player right here. Got tipped by our defender. And then Zykov put it in himself. You're going to see. It looks like he gets tipped by uh, number 11 there, David Runblad. And then uh, Zykov got his stick on it and got it by Rass. So the shutout is blown, but it would not matter. The Bruins still pick up the 5-1 to one victory and we walk out of here with the W. We improved to 9, or excuse me, not 9-4. and four. We improved to 7-2-3 and three on the season. We pick up our uh, 12th and 13th points so far. So good evening of hockey here from the TD Garden. And that is going to do it. So take a look at the team stats. We outshot them 22-13. to 13. Pretty quick game. I've been tinkering with with the settings a little bit. Um, I've been playing on six minute periods before. I'm playing on five minute periods now with a full uh, penalty time scaling. So each penalty, each power play is actually a two, full two minutes. So uh, only one power play this game. That's why this game is probably a little bit shorter. But still, we put up five goals and we got the win. So that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching and I'm out. Peace.